This is Azerbaijan's $100 billion failure. If built, the project would have been home to the tallest building in the world. But with Azerbaijan Tower's expected completion date in 2019, what went wrong? And is any part of the development still actually happening? The short answer is that a lack of funding and a flawed design destroyed the project. But with the developer CEO being arrested, there is a lot more to the story. The Azerbaijan Tower was a planned megatall skyscraper that was intended to be constructed on the Khazar Islands, 25 kilometers south of Baku. Ibrahim Ibrahimov, the president of Avesta Group, who is the developer of the project, claimed that the Azerbaijan Tower would have been 1,051 meters tall, with 189 floors, which would have made it 223 meters taller than Dubai's Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest skyscraper in the world. But Ibrahimov's vision for the tower and city around it were quite different to Dubai's approach. He wanted his structures to seem less artificial and safer, as well as more beautiful. I don't know about you, but the Burj Khalifa is quite the sight in my opinion. The skyscraper was planned to be the centerpiece of the Khazar Islands, a $100 billion city made up of 41 artificial islands. These were planned to have spread over 30 square kilometers of reclaimed land from the Caspian Sea, planned to house over 1 million residents with 150 schools, 50 hospitals, numerous parks, university campuses, and a Formula One racetrack, which would have made it one of the largest cities in Azerbaijan. The tower was also said to be capable of withstanding earthquakes up to a magnitude of 9 on the Richter scale, which is quite hard to believe, as Burj Khalif is only built to withstand an earthquake up to 7 on the Richter scale. On the other hand, Dubai does not lie in a fault line, which means that the risk of an earthquake is extremely low. Azerbaijan, however, is in a more earthquake-prone region, like we've seen with Dubai over the last decades, which went from almost nothing to one of the most sought-after vacation spots in the world. This project was meant to have the same effect for Azerbaijan, as tourism is one of the fastest ways to improve a country's economy. The islands were to be equipped with 150 bridges and a large municipal airport to connect the islands to the mainland. In Ibrahimim's words, it was supposed to be like a new Venice. But as a large part of the project was to be built on artificial islands, similar to the ones in Dubai or the Colombo city island of Sri Lanka, there are a lot of things that could have easily gone wrong just based on that. Like with a lot of man-made islands, they seem to have an ability to sink over time. There have been many reports of these failed artificial island projects around the world because, you guessed it, building an island in the middle of an ocean is not that easy. It demands an incredible amount of planning, resources, and manpower. Dredging it itself is a really complex procedure, which is the process of removing the sediment from a water body, transporting it, and then depositing it in another location. Not to talk about all the potential sea creatures and reefs you'll destroy, the buildings in these man-made islands also tend to crash due to the harsh climate and the often pressing deadline, which results in subpar work. But there are a lot more reasons why the project failed. The development was expected to cost $100 billion, with $30 billion coming from foreign investors. Construction of the Khazar Islands began in March 2011, and partial buildings were achieved during Azerbaijan's economic boom. However, the project's gigantic scale and lack in design became more apparent in 2015 as the oil price crashed. Furthermore, in the middle of May 2015, Ibrahimov was a arrested due to his company's inability to start repayment of Avesta's debt to the International Bank of Azerbaijan, rumored to be around $57 million. When released, Ibrahimov's company's statements later insisted that the project was still scheduled to be completed between 2020 and 2025, with help from Chinese investors. In a 27 interview, Ibrahimov still insisted that long-delayed works would finally restart later that year. In October 2017, Ibrahimov was reported to have restarted his work with Avesta and declared that he would not leave of Azerbaijan's future promised land. But was this true? And what about Azerbaijan Tower? Construction on the Azerbaijan Tower was planned to begin in 2015, with a completion date sometime in 2019. But as you know by now, that did not happen. Due to the lack of capital, and with the CEO of development company arrested, the construction of the tower never even started. The Khazar Islands, however, actually have some half-built buildings, and some people still believe that the islands will happen somewhere between 2025 and 2045. But this is quite a naive point of view. With almost no information of the project since late 2017, and with the centerpiece being totally cancelled, we can confidently assume that the project will never come to life.